The Northmen say that in the beginning there was nothing but darkness. Bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. His flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Find him, Senua, and spill his blood. She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast, was badly burnt all over. She took pity on him. He was not long for this world. Like her, who spoke of his own darkness. The Northmen. Is the bridge that goes from the world of men to the world of the gods. For now, they say the frost giants and the mountain giants cannot cross it. But they say that when Ragnarok comes, not a thing in this world will be safe. The Rainbow Bridge will break under the onslaught of the fire giants riding on flaming steeds. Senua, I have seen the fire of Surt spread far and wide, and to our lands. Ragnarok is coming. Each walk these lands, gazing towards different horizons, some of us further than others. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do. human flesh <laughs> and I still hear their cries carried in the wind do you hear them too yes I heard this grief and I still hear them now The 
The path to Helheim is sealed to the living. But you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. story. Before the earth was created, there was a world called Muspel. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds, and is now the land of the fire giants. And people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there.
It's too far. She'll never find it. She'll never make her way back. She needs to remember the way back. What happens when she finds it? Everything will burn. Concentrate. Concentrate on where you're going. She needs to remember the path. Everything will burn. Then how will she find the way back? <laughs> she won't. She won't be able to tell. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Surt. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. Answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua! Find your own path, like I find mine! My gods abandoned me! I am alone. Northmen of Hell worship the Devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senua, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon your gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. Like you, Cinema. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you.
The Northmen say that the defender of Muspel is called Sert, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something that burns. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post traveled to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. Tell me truth. How did you escape your darkness? Senua, once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of Surt. And so, during one raid, I took my chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. A fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you.
Run, Senator! Run, run, run! Run, Senator! 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 Run, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Senua. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together. Side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone, away from you. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it.
every battle won. A greater battle takes its place. But so it goes. Until we fall. And in the end, we all fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. I have fulfilled my quest. Yes, you have. When the darkness comes, I vow to guide you in this life and the next to fulfill yours. Then I will see you in hell. Be ready to face horror in the eye as I have to find your answers your quest your truth Druth was a troubled man a scholar turned slave they tortured him took him with them on their raids drove him to madness spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds to my world Senua saw a deep connection form between the Northmen and the dark tales of hell were true, then that was the source of it. She learned everything she could from him, until she too could see what he saw. Gazing towards different and horizons. she will do so again. Some of us further than others. You can be sure of that. Your father cannot see what you see, but there is nothing wrong with seeing the world the way you do.
and feasts on their remains. Follow the path to Valravan and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. <laughs> <laughs> 